So, I'm just capturing some more footage today of, um, this is more simulation theory, um, that we live in a type of matrix of some sort, um, and I've, you know, I wish I had explored these woods more, but there's really no spot in this woods that's quite like this, in the sense that they, they produce these seeds. And I'm not sure which tree they come from, and they only go so far up the hill. So, like, well, I've just never seen them grow on this tree, or that tree, or any other tree. But these are seeds, and I wish I had more evidence. Like, none of them are producing the tendrils they use, they normally do. Maybe it's just not the right time of the year, but maybe they need more time to germinate. Um, but it's the only place in the forest I can find these little se these seeds. They produce some type of oak, and um, I've tried growing them before, and they're just really uh, difficult to grow. Um, they get eaten by deer, and they don't look like these trees either. Um, they look more like that yellow one over there, with the leaf patterns, but, yeah, so, you know, it's kind of like a spawn zone for resources. Um, I've used these tree these, these seeds to, as trees to transport down around whites, um, in lieu of rune stones, so, you know, practically speaking, I'm sure there's places in your forest that produce seeds like this or something similar. Trees are incredibly good for transporting um, kami. Um, and I discussed that in my um, article uh, about um, the beautification of Midgard. And I talk about um, Luther Burbank and his book, The Training of the Human Tree. And he, he had to have known something with all of his time in the forest that something was going on with the spirits and the trees. But, you know, here you go. Black Purple Ice out. Namaste.